I think it's Sirach. I always take a second as it's right. Sirach 2 and 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright. Right? Set thy heart aright. Become like that little child and constantly endure to make not haste in time of trouble. Right? Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Right? So I'm, 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 I'm talking to myself. You understand? Because that's what that's what we forget. We forget that it's not the it's not the the. Let me say it this way: I for, I forget this sometimes. That it's not the scriptures that you know. It's the, it's the it's also the work that you're doing on yourself, right? I learned I learned about integrity being around the elders and elder apostles. I learned about telling the truth being around the elder apostles, and 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 I'll I'll even extend that to the elder Adama. Right. I learned how to be a man. I was a I was a kid when I came into the truth. Really? 20, 21, 22. Right. I was I was a child. I was just breaking out into adulthood. I had a, I had a son, but I, I myself was a child, man. And so coming in the truth, I, I, I watched those men. When, when the scriptures say that you sit at the feet of the apostles, when the scriptures say that I really I really sat at the feet of the apostles. I was a babe. I was a child. I was a child and I had to learn how to become a man. There was there were things that granted I had a father. My dad was around, man. My dad um every, you know, football game and practice, every basketball game and practice, like my, my I had a dad. My dad was around, but there were certain things that he didn't know because his father wasn't around. Right? And so when I got around the apostles, it was like uh apostles and uh, of course Elder Adama when I got around those men they they showed me how to be a grown up, man. <laughs> they showed me how to be a grown up, and I'm and I'm just I'm I'm being honest, man. I'm, I'm I'm being honest. They showed me how to be a grown up. I was a baby. I was a I was a a child, okay. And they showed me how to how to act around certain people in certain scenarios, right? We we we, we talk about we talk about. And this is just me. I'm 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 gonna ramble a little, little bit here because I have to say these things. It's on my spirit. Um, we talk about tipping a lot, right? How the apostles, you'll, you'll see the apostles, they tip when they're, when they're at a restaurant or if they're at the bar or whatever, wherever they are, wherever they are. I'm, I'm just using those as examples, right? But they're always tipping, right? And that, it's not about, it's not about the money. It's not about showing the, 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 the people that you got a little bread and you're going to break them off a little bit. It's about the, the mindset that you're in to tip, okay? What kind of, what kind of character you have to tip that person? Those things are important, and they and they showed me how to do that. I was, I was in a, a breakfast restaurant, uh, just recently, and I sat down. I, you know, I took my hat off and sat it down on my lap. And uh, to me, that's normal. That's normal to you know take my head off when I, or to pray over my food before I eat. Those things are normal to me. And this lady, before she left, I even I even know you know you never know you're being watched, right? She came up to me, and she and she you know put her hand on my arm, and she said. You know, I have to tell you something. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, what's going on? What's this lady going to say to me now, right? And she says, you have so much class, right? She said, there, men, I don't see men taking their hat off anymore when they sit down at the table, right? She said, I had to tell you that, right? And now for me, for us, that's normal, right? Having a, having a hat on is not a something I regularly do. I had a hat on. It was cold outside, so I had a hat on. But I took it off once I got into the building and, and people notice those kinds of things, man. But I learned I learned those things from the apostles. Right. I learned how to be a man from from the apostles. I learned how to st steer away from some of these scriptures that I was reading about how to about men who are, are backbiters or, or traitors. And I learned how to steer away from those things by learning from them. Right. Because what, what makes a traitor? What makes a backbiter? What makes some of the, the characteristics of the things that we spoke about in this lesson are people that are are, are self-willed, right? There's a, there's a certain level of humility that you have to have to carry yourself as a man in the world, man. There's a certain level of integrity you have to have, a certain level of character you have to have. And I learned that from the apostles. I, I, I've, I've been around them personally, all of them. 
All of them. I've been around them personally. I've been blessed to be around them. When, when, when we say learn at the apostles' feet, I, I sat and I listened. I listened. Hear how they talk uh, to each other. Hear how they talk to, to, to strangers. Hear how they talk to the people they know. Right? I listened. Didn't say a word. Didn't say one word unless, unless I was spoken to. But I learned, I learned how to be a man from those men. I, that's, I, 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 I grew up because of them. And I, and I say it all the time. Like, I don't know what type of nigga I would have been. Because, granted, I wasn't, I, I've never been a, um, like a bad kid. I, I was always a, what they call a goody two shoe. Right. But I was, a I was, a always had excuses. Right. I was always, um, blaming somebody for something. It was, I, I, I there was no telling what kind of man I would have been if I never got around those men. Right. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being straight about that. Uh, I mean, granted, I don't think nobody's going to get to this part of the show anyway, <laughs> because, uh, you know, uh, you know, Jake don't get to that. And I'll, I'll be honest, I don't watch all the way through videos either. So, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody's going to get to it. Maybe I'll chop this part of it. I really want this to be heard. Like, I, I learned from the apostles, man. I did. I learned from them. Right. And I, I, I learned how to endure. You know, I, I said this before uh, in the last show I did. Oh, no, I don't know if it's last. Maybe it's that Saturday show we did. Um, but I learned from the apostle. I heard the apostle tell me that you got to learn how to love pain. <laughs> and man, let me tell you something. That's that's so true, man. You you have to. You have to. It it, it brings the best out of you. Right? So that's it, man. I'm, I'm rambling at this point. Like I said, I would. But um, hopefully that was edifying. As always, I want to give all praises to you. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Honor and salutations to the elect, and with that I say shalom.